In this video today, we are gonna be comparing hand plasma cutting with our stencils versus CNC plasma cutting to see which one is the better, faster way to cut for a simple bumper bracket like we have over here. Uh, I'm in the process of doing a two bumper on my Bronco here, and so I figured this would be a perfect time to see which way is gonna be quicker to make a simple bumper bracket. This is gonna be made out of quarter inch plate and first, we are going to be hand cutting it on our table topper over here and running a time on that to see how long that takes. Then we're going to take this template and copy it into the computer, cam it, load it into the CNC program and see how long that takes to do. We got our table kind of set out and stopwatch. So we're gonna hit the go button and do this and see how long this actually takes. Okay, clock is ticking. First step is to lay this thing out on the table and trace where we want to be cutting this. I like to put things on the edge. So for hand cutting, it's good to work off an edge or close to the sheet because we don't need the skeleton plate like you do on a CNC. So this guy, let's put this out of the way. Don't want to hurt our templates. And now we'll get suited up. So first things first, I think I'm gonna start with these holes here. These both need to be half inch. Mark our center point and right here, this is just eyeballing stuff because it's a lot larger. There's a lot of slop in that hole. Then we're gonna grab our edge clamp because I like my edge clamp and just centering the stencil above in that center point. We've got our uh, torch is switched over to drag cutting mode and we'll make this cut. Stop, blow out any of the slag. Now, our next hole, get that crap out of there. Do -do -do, just like that. Oh, that did not work good. Okay. So there's our two holes done here. Now we're doing our half inch and three quarter, but I'm gonna, I want this inch and three quarter to be a little tighter. So I'm gonna put this offset. I got this little offset ring that goes on there and it just tightens, it tightens this hole up just a little teeny bit. We've got enough of a circle to be able to eyeball where the center of that is for the offset. And then we'll come around and cut here. Reposition this clamp. Okay, ready for one more. We're gonna go this way. For this stuff, I'll do it by hand, or we could just use our mag holders to, to be able to reposition this fairly easy. And I'm also gonna be using these little offset blocks. So this is gonna be putting the waste on this side of the line over here. Usually on shorter cuts like this, just one is good enough to check that. Where are we at? Six, six minutes? Not too bad. Six minutes. Let's see how we can do here. So here, next one. Do, 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 just about like that. So now I'm working on this side. I want the waist to stay on this side of the line. By using the clamp here, you can see how I kind of I ran over this. I had to I had to tilt that. Okay, uh, eight minutes and fifteen seconds to to make our cut. It took just a little over eight minutes to lay this thing out and cut it by hand. Uh, next up is going to be able to is going to be to see how long it takes to lay this thing out on 
in the computer and then make that cut. We're basically ready to start drawing this in the computer, uh, but I'm not the guy to be drawing this. So Jonathan here is gonna hand the camera over to me and Jonathan right here is the computer whiz. So he's all ready to go. Hit the start button on that guy. All right. Right now he's just drawing a one inch mark to get a scale. Snap a quick little shot. Take a picture, plug her into the computer. Put that in there like that. And then we'll come back into our canvas, come over here and hit calibrate. So here's our one inch mark right there. So we're gonna put two points right there and tell Fusion that is now one inch. Now we have that scaled. So we're gonna create the sketch on this plane. I'm just dropping some points in key spots on this. Just connecting the dots at this point. I'm just basically drawing straight lines in between the points that we originally dropped in there. Next is gonna be these circles. So it's actually, that is our start point on this one. Okay, so I'm gonna do a center circle. For that one, we will come to the center circle. So this is where we're starting to make this thing be all the right numbers. Now it's time to dimension. So that's saying just around four and a half inches, right around four and a half inches. I'm gonna say this is looking pretty good. So we're gonna finish the sketch, get rid of that canvas, cause where we at on time here? Seven, 720, we got our drawn up all interpreted from cardboard to computer. Sheet cam is what I like to use for this. Right scale, right spot on the table there. I like my lead-ins. We're gonna do that. Now we can come in, verify all that looks good. All right, we are now ready to go connect to the CNC. In 11 minutes, looking good. We've got this all drawn in the computer, so now this thing needs to go back to uh, CNC mode, which is fairly quick. We'll pull our drag shield off, torch is set up. Next, we need to lace this little thumb screw. We call this the cross bolt, is one of our upgrades for the table that just makes it real easy to swap. Now it's back to CNC mode. And we also have these splash guards that go over here as well that make a, that little guy right there is gonna make CNC cutting a lot better. This has a couple little slots and that just keys right into the bolts on the side over here. So now we're basically set up for CNC cutting. Now it's trying to figure out how this is going to work. And since we already have this template. This kind of gives us a nice thing where I think that right there is some pretty good material usage. Program origin. Now dry run. Dry run is done. Now we're ready to cut. Pull the pointer off. Put our little splash guard on there. We can just hit the go button from right here. Ready to start cutting. And our time, 17 minutes. There's one part, and so 18 minutes to get one part done. CNC, obviously we were about 19 minutes all said and done, so definitely took a good amount of time. This thing, we let it cool down for a hot second. So we've got our, our two brackets here. Now, to see how accurate this uh, cardboard-aided design was, we are, Pretty much on the money here, around here. 
just a, a little off on this hole right there. Just, just a little bit extra on that. Then our hand cut version is on the money on these radius right here. We got a little high right here. That's where I drifted with my, uh, my bad placement of the clamp from cardboard hand cutting or CNC cutting. Uh, a simple design like this is definitely quicker to do by hand than to put it in the computer. However, if I was going to be mass producing these bumpers, uh, I would definitely take the time to draw this in a computer. But for making two brackets, take this with a couple of our plasma stencils and you can very easily get the job done a lot quicker than drawing it in a computer. That's about it for this video. But Stay tuned to the next video when we actually take these and start doing some tube work on our Bronco. If you like the video, make sure to like it, add a comment. If you have any questions or feedback, uh, subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to speed with 911 Motorsports.